Hello, everyone. I uh, just want to make a few brief comments uh, about week 10. There are a couple of videos that I'm going to ask you to watch, which pretty much say everything and more that I have to say about this subject. But as we wind up the course, uh, I just wanted to characterize sort of what this culminating week uh, is about. And as I look over the materials and as I look over the videos that I made, I realized that it's about freedom and it's about the threats uh, that digital technology makes to our personal freedom as human beings. Um, the centerpiece of this week's materials is the Black Mirror episode, Nosedive. I haven't linked it. It's, it's, uh, it's on Netflix. Uh, I would like you to watch it if you haven't seen it already. It really is, I would regard it to be a classic science fiction uh, commentary on contemporary society, even though it's a few years old now. Uh, if you don't have Netflix and you can't find any other way to watch it, just contact me and I'll, I'll give you my Netflix uh, login. I mean, I've done it before with students, so I really would like you to watch it. Um, <clears throat> yes, this, uh, this week is about freedom and it's about the threats to freedom. I, I think I can say that. And it really is about <clears throat> an alternative form of, um, of uh, surveillance uh, and the effects of surveillance on our behavior. An alternative form to the centralized surveillance uh, measures that, that, that governments take, as exemplified in what we looked at in terms of the Chinese government. Um, and this idea of intervalence, this idea that um, we, we, the idea of a centralized authority making a huge investment in, um, in, in looking at people, keeping people under observation, is not the only um, form of surveillance that digital technology in the form of cell phones, in the form of social media, in the form of, of all the things that go along with that, has provided an alternative uh, for surveillance. And, and that is intervalence, the idea where instead of one centralized authority keeping tabs on everybody, everybody keeps tabs on everyone else through the medium of the cell phone and the applications that rate people. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't know how silly this idea is in terms of whether something like the society with the completely overblown, exaggerated, radical form of uh, social media that's in nosedive. I don't know if that's a silly idea. I don't know if that's a real idea. I, I can't say. Uh, and I think that that's probably a testament to how good the nosedive episode actually is. That is, in terms of science fiction, I think a sign of good science fiction is if we really can't tell whether it's silly or not. You know, that is, it, it's an interesting creative idea that may or may not be a <clears throat> rational, realistic extrapolation uh, into the future of the kind of things that we're dealing with right now. So it's quite obvious that what this woman goes through in Nosedive is a huge exaggeration of the kind of experiences that you or other people may have with social media, but whether it has a kernel of truth and reality is really up, up to you to decide. Um, so it, the last week is really, like much of this course, is a speculative. That is, we're, we're, we're thinking about things that are happening now, obviously, but we're thinking about the way they may develop into the future. And, 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 and that really is an attempt to understand what is happening now. That is, does the use of social media distort our lives? Does it control us? Does it uh, take away from our personal freedom and our lives and, and the way we express ourselves as, as human beings and uh, questions like that? So um, the, the main idea here really is that idea of intervalence, the idea, the, the bad thing about surveillance in general is not only that it's a um, that it's a violation of our right to privacy, 
and our right to freedom. The, the, the bad thing about, in, about surveillance is that it shapes our behavior. The idea of the panopticon is not really that oh, you're being watched all the time uh, because you're not. Uh, you might be. There's always the possibility of being watched, of being surveilled. The, the, the bad thing about the panopticon is that it makes you behave in a certain way. It makes you suppress certain aspects of your, of your nature, of your personality, to make them acceptable to whoever may be watching. So the nightmare of um, nosedive is that social media may distort and shape our own self-expression <clears throat> so that we mold our behaviors our expressions of you know, of thought in, in, in our speech and so on in such a way as to make them acceptable to some monitoring entity. That is the nightmare of Orwell's 1984 is that we're constantly uh, censoring ourselves to make ourselves acceptable to Big Brother. The nightmare of intervalence is that we're constantly censoring ourselves, shaping ourselves to meet the expectations of let's say our audience and that what we fear is disapproval from that audience so that we um, repress hide uh, things that we uh, that, that are true about us but we we feel might not be acceptable to that audience for fear of the repercussions uh, you can see where this all is sort of going. Um, the idea is that uh, the, the idea of Black Mirror is a radical extrapolation of perhaps these real tendencies we have, as shown in the shot in Facebook uh, radio uh, profile, the woman who found herself doing that, um, <clears throat> presenting a kind of version of her life that she thought was acceptable to the people who were who, who she was sharing these things with. Uh, and that perhaps she this had uh, an effect on the way she lived, you know, where she's not only she feels that she has to do certain things in her life to make herself socially acceptable, and they turned out to be really bad decisions. Uh, the nightmare of a black mirror is that we, we we will all be doing that all the time, and instead of living our real lives, the lives we want as individual human beings. You know, pursuing happiness in the way that we see fit as, as, as unique individuals. Instead, we are conforming to social expectations that frankly make us miserable. Uh, so, you know, maybe it's a, a rather ambitious idea looking at these things in uh, week 10 as we, as we wind up the course. And, and there is a silliness about it. Maybe there was a silliness about the whole idea of the, of the singularity. You know, we had, we had to keep open that, that there was maybe it was just a, such an exaggerated idea of, of what can happen through technological progress. I don't know. But that's that's really up to you to decide.